Welcome to the Tech Learners. In today's lesson, we will discuss vector calculus. And in vector calculus, we will talk about two main things. One is the vector differential operator and the next is the gradient of a scalar function. So let's start with the vector differential operator. This vector differential operator is also known as del or it is also known as nebla. It is defined by, so del is always equal to del upon del x i plus del upon del y j plus del upon del z k. So now we can see that these are the partial derivatives. This is the partial derivative with respect to x. This is the partial derivative with respect to y and this is the partial derivative with respect to z. This del is always applied on a function. So the application starts with the gradient of a scalar function. So now let's see what is the gradient of a scalar function. The gradient of a scalar function is written as grad phi or we can also write it as del phi. So this del is the vector differential operator and this phi is a scalar function. So this del phi will be defined as this is equal to del upon del x i plus del upon del y j plus del upon del z k and this del is applied on the scalar function phi. Now let us understand grad phi in a little bit more detail. So what is grad phi? Grad phi basically is a vector valued function. Although this grad is applied on a scalar function, but its resultant is a vector function. So vector function has two things, direction and magnitude. So the direction of this grad phi is the direction of the fastest increase of a function. So you can say the slope, we define it with the slope, the uh, steepest slope, the direction of the fastest increase of a function. And the magnitude is equal to the fastest increase in that direction. So grad phi is a vector. It has direction and the direction is in the fastest increase of the function. It has magnitude and the magnitude is equal to the fastest increase in that direction. Let us understand this with the help of uh, this image. Here we can see that this is a three dimensional image. You can see this is a three dimensional image where we can see the slope of this is being mentioned. So the magnitude of the slopes you can see into the uh, this top down view. So we can see this is the top peak place. So it is represented by the highest magnitude which is 100. And these are the bottom uh, locations which are represented by the magnitudes 40, 60 and so on. And we can see this is the direction. So the direction chart is represented here. You can see this is the direction of the slope. Right. So grad phi is the combination of the direction, which is the fastest increase, the steepest arrow we need to find, and the uh, magnitude will be the magnitude in that direction. So this is the grad phi. Now let us uh, see some examples that we can see in the grad phi. Let us see the example number one. Find the gradient of the function f of x comma y, which is equal to x plus y square. Now, as we can see, this is a two dimension function. So for that two dimension function, the del will be uh, it's del upon del x i plus del upon del y j because this is only a two dimensional function. So let us uh, find out the grad phi for this. So the grad phi will be or we can say the grad f here because the function is represented by f. So grad f will be del f which will be defined by del upon del x i plus del upon del y j applied on f which is x plus y square. So now we will multiply this. So this will be del upon del x 
x plus y square, this is i, plus del upon del y will be applied on x plus y square, this is j. And now we have to do the partial differential uh, here. So this is the partial differential with respect to x, where we will uh, take this y as a constant. So del upon del x of x will be 1 plus del upon del x of y square will be 0 because this will be a constant plus now here it's we have to partial derivate this with respect to y so this x will be treated as a constant so this will be 0 plus and the partial derivative of y square will be 2y so this becomes i plus 2yj so here we have grad f of the given function so this is our answer grad f let us see one more example based on the grad. So this is the example number two. Here we have to find the gradient of the function phi, which is 3x square y minus y cube z square at the given point. So let us first find out the grad phi. So here it's a three dimensional function. So grad phi will be defined by del upon del x i plus del upon del y j plus del upon del z k will be applied on the scalar function. This is 3x square y minus y cube z square. So let's first operate this. So this will be del upon del x to be applied on 3x square y minus y cube z square. This is with i plus then del upon del y will be applied on 3x square y minus y cube z square. This is with j. And lastly, del upon del z will be applied on 3x square y minus y cube z square. This is k. So here we have to uh, differentiate this with respect to x, partially differentiate this with respect to x. So this 3x square y will be 6xy and this here we do not have any x so this will be 0. So this is 6xyi plus. Now we have to partially differentiate this with respect to y. So we will get here 3x square and minus as this is y cube so this is 3y square z square. This is j plus. Now we have to partially differentiate with respect to z as we can say the first term uh, is free from z so this will be 0. So this is only uh, minus 2 y cube z. So this is the second part minus 2 y cube z this is with k. So here we have got the grad phi but the question has asked the answer at some point 1 minus 2 minus 1 which means in this we have to keep x as 1, y as minus 2 and z as minus of 1. So let's put these values. So this is 6, the x is 1, y is a minus of 2. So this is i plus. Now 3 multiplied by the x is 1. So this is 1 square. So this will be minus 3 y square. So y is minus of 2 square and then z square. So z is minus of 1 square. So here it is uh, with j plus the last term minus 2 multiplied by y cube. So the y is minus of 2 cube and then this is z. So this is minus of 1. It's k. And now we need to solve this. Uh, so this we can say this is 6 into 1 into minus of 2 will be minus of 12i plus this is uh, 3 into 1. So we have 3 and minus 2 square will be a 4, minus 1 square will be a 1, so 4 into 1 will be 1, 1, 4 and 4 threes are 12, so this is minus of 12, this is j and plus lastly minus 2 cube, this will be minus of 8, minus 8 into minus of 2 will be uh, 16, that will be plus 16 and minus of 1, this will be minus of 16. So this is minus of 16k. The final result is minus of 12i minus of 9j and then minus of 16k. So this is our answer grad 
phi in the three dimension system. Let us understand one more example in the last example for today. So this is example number three. Here it is written, find the greatest rate of increase of phi. So the greatest rate of increase is the grad. Okay. So we have already seen that this is the maximum rate of increase or the highest rate of increase or the greatest rate of increase. So we need to get the grad phi. So this is grad phi and we can say that this is a three dimensional system. So this will be del upon del x i plus del upon del y j plus del upon del z k has to be applied on the function phi, the scalar function phi, which is x y z square. So first we will uh, apply this operator. This is del upon del x, x y z square i. Then this is del upon del y, x y z square. This is j plus del upon del z. This is x, y, z square. This is k. So we'll uh, first perform the partial derivation. So this is partial derivative with respect to x. We'll get y, z square, i plus. This is partial derivative with respect to y. So we'll get x, z square, j plus. And this is partial derivative with respect to z. So this is twice of x, y, z, k. Now, the point has been given x is minus 1, y is 0 and z is 3. So we will substitute these values in place of x we will keep 1, in place of y we will keep 0 and in place of z we will keep 3. So here we can see y is 0, this is 3 square i plus x is 1 and z is 3. So this is 3 square j plus 2, x is 1, y is 0 and z is 3. So we can see here it is multiplied with 0. So this term will be 0 completely. This is 3j and here it is also multiplied with 0. So this term will also vanishes. So the final answer is 3j. This is the final answer. So I hope the uh, del operator and grad phi is clear in this session and we will discuss divergence and curl in the upcoming sessions.